Mēs satiekam Sandru Kalnieti viņas dzīvoklī Rīgas centrā. Pirms garas darba dienas būs intervijas tikšanās konferences. This is my favorite dish and I I'm consuming every time that I am here in in Riga which means every weekend cottage cheese yeah in Latvian biespiens Brokasts ir tikpat vienkārši, cik sarežģīts ir viņas dzīves ceļš un politiskā dzīve. Sanda Kalniet bija viena no Latvijas atmodas lidereiem 18. gadu beigās, bijusi ārlietu ministra un diplomāti. Viņa ir dzimusi Sibīrijā padomju deportācijas laikā. Viņas māte tur pavadīja 17 gadus, trīs vecvecāki gāja bojā. Ar balles kurpēm Sibīrijas sniegos. Kalniet uzrakstīja grāmatu par dzimtas likteņiem, tā tulkot vairāk nekā desmit valodās. Dutch, Ček. Russian, which is important, and this is the first one in French. En escarpin dans la neige de Sibérie. Et cette petite fille, c'est moi. You may see that he has suffered a lot during his long life. He is almost my age, closing to 60. He was sent to to me. Uh, to Siberia from Latvia by our relatives and he returned to Latvia with me. So it means that he made 12,000 kilometers. He is a great traveler. Europarlamentā Sandras Kalniets uzmanības lokā kopējā lauksaimniecības politika īpaši aizstāvot Latvijas zemnieku intereses. Viņi saņem zemākos maksājumus savienībā tikai 54% no Eiropas vidusmēra. Tas ir netaisnīgi, saka Kalnieti. I decided that all my skills to conduct a very strong information campaign. Today, there is not a single member in Agri-Committee not knowing the state of affairs in Baltic agriculture. And secondly, there is overwhelming feeling that it's not just, it has to be changed. When we had elections, then the farming society was very uh, skeptic um, because, uh, yeah, they know that Sandra don't know anything about agriculture, and she also said that. And um, but uh, finally, I, I, for me, it's also I really surprised how good she is. Uh, yeah, how good she learned the basic things and and uh, how active he is really pro protecting our farmer interests in in Brussels. In the beginning, they were laughing. This very ladylike creature, <laughs> with diplomatic background, who probably never touched by her hands even the soil. Ir brīva stunda pirms svarīgas konferences. Sandra dodas uz tirgu pēc stādiem. Tie domāti ģimenes lauku mājai. Together with my husband, we bought some seven years ago a completely destroyed farm. I decided that it will be a flower garden. And I have 140 different uh, flowers and plants. So you are becoming a professional in this? Not exactly, but I am a deeply involved amateur. <laughs> I know that that uh, my voters are interested in what I am doing because in Twitter I have more than three and a half thousand followers, which is a very good result for a political uh, person in Latvia. Viņa ļoti labi saprot, ka es nepieciešams Latvijai. Viņa izprot, viņa dara, un uh, jāsaka, es brīnos, kā viņa nenogurst, viņa nepārtraukti ir kustībā. Sandra Kalniet ir arī Latvijas valdošās partijas vienotība domas priekšsēdētāji. Divi jautājumi dienas kārtībā šodien. Ekonomiskie rādītāji uzlabojas, taču demogrāfiskā situācija joprojām kritiska. Viss saprot, ka situācija Latvijā ir cieši saistīta ar to, kas notiek Eiropā. Mēs strādājam rokrokā ar Sandru un citiem Europarlamenta deputātiem, saka bijušais Europarlamentāriets, tagad Latvijas premjers. She is uh, really doing a very efficient uh, job in agricultural policy, in uh, raising the issues and in actually gathering uh, the support of other uh, colleagues. And I uh, think her both uh, political and diplomatic experience is of good uh, uh, assistance actually to uh, do so and to uh, choose the results. Mans mērķis ir strādāt Latvijas un Eiropas labā. Sandra Kalniete saka ar pārliecību. My deepest personal conviction always has been that Latvia belongs to Europe, uh, ever belonged and ever will belong. 